Hello everyone, myself Ati from SND College of Engineering and Research Center Yevla. Today we will see some practical examples of ladder programming. So as you know that PLC programming consists of ladder programming and which is used to control various operations in industry as well as in household applications. Okay. So many processes are controlled with the help of ladder programming. So let's discuss some practical examples of such a ladder programming. So let's discuss first of all implement a latch to turn on and off a motor using two normally open push button switches. Okay. So this is the question over here. We have to turn on and off a motor. There is one output is motor here. We have to on and off motor using two normally open push button switches. Okay. And we have to do here latching also. So now in this case, this is the input module and output module is shown over here. Okay. So here this is input module and output module. So on output module side, motor is connected. You can see here motor is connected to channel number eight and channel number one and channel number three. There are two push buttons are connected. One is on type push button and one is off type means one is normally open and one is normally closed. Okay. So these are two push buttons are used over here and other lines are AC power lines here AC power lines AC power lines okay so like this the block diagram is shown over here and this is the actual ladder diagram for such a operation okay so here this 08 means what motor because here channel number 08 is motor okay <coughs> so same thing motor is done same contact for this motor or this coil we have taken here 08 okay so these both are related to each other okay now this 01 0 in its input normally open switch and 03 is normally closed switch okay so like this this is channel number one and channel number three switches are shown over here okay this you can assume this as 08 as motor or you can assume this as coil of the motor okay so now what happens when you push this or when you push this 01 switch okay what will happen the supply will go like this okay and this motor coil will get energized okay and motor will get on okay it's so like this motor will get on but what happens now this is push button switch okay so when you release your hand from this push button what happens the contact gets open very easily okay this Whatever this close contact is there, this close contact gets open when you release hand from the switch. Okay. So for this purpose, what will happen? Motor will get off. Okay. But what happens if we want to make motor continuously on for some time period? At that time, we have to use here latching. So this part is called as latching. Okay. So what happens here? When you close this contact, okay the coil gets energized and at the same time this switch also get closed because 0 8 0 8 both are similar things and the supply can go like this also okay this is called latching and now from push button number one okay you can remove hand from this push button number or you can off that switch the current can go like this continuously and motor will get remains on for particular time period okay so this is the latching latching is used for making motor continuously on for some time period okay so like this supply can go for motor and motor will remain continuously on though you of this switch okay zero one now suppose motor is continuously on and you, you want to off that motor okay emergency you have to off that motor then we have used here one off switch okay this is three number switch which is normally closed now okay which is normally closed now by pressing that switch okay by pressing that switch you can make motor off okay when you press that switch or when you give input to that switch number three it will get open means normally close contact will get normally open and motor gets off okay because supply gets cut from this position okay supply will get cut and your motor will get off okay so like this latching concept is used while using motor okay now we will see next example 
so next example is what in a certain bank each of the three bank officers has a unique key to the vault okay so there is one bank is there inside that bank one vault is kept okay and that vault has a unique key okay and there are three officers each officer have th three keys okay those unique keys what is the bank rules the bank rules states that two of the three officers be present when the vault is open okay suppose you want to open the vault okay suppose you want to open the vault what should be condition out of the three officers two officers should be present okay any two officers should be present and then vault will get open so we have to develop the program now that will unlatch the door and turn on a light when two of the three keys are inserted so what is the question we have to develop a program when two of the three keys are inserted what will happen door will open and light will on okay so like this there are two outputs so outputs are two here what are the outputs we have to open the door and we have to turn on the light also so outputs are two over here so just check out this diagram so in this case you can check here these are our final outputs output 1 and output 2 output 1 and output 2 so one is for door which, which is written over here door and one is for green okay so this is output module and we have also extra we are using here relay coil that is CR1 okay so CR1 is nothing but this output 0 okay so here numbers are given locations are given output 0 output 1 output 2 okay so output 0 is CR1 output 1 is door and output 2 is green light okay so like this there are three outputs we have taken okay now here input module so in input module consists of number of inputs so we have taken three inputs IN0, IN1 and IN2 this is IN0, IN1 and IN2 these are three inputs and inputs are A, B, C okay there are three push buttons are used A, B, C because we have three officers and three keys are there that's why we are using three inputs so what is the condition here when two keys are present output should be on okay that's why we are using here combination so here in each row we have used three uh, two keys okay so you check over here in the first row we have taken two inputs that is 0 and 1 okay so in the first row we have taken 0 and 1 input in the second row we have taken 1 and 2 input and in the third row we have taken 0 and 2 input so we have taken combinations of 0 1 and 2 okay because our numbering is 0 1 2 that's why we have taken combination 0 1 2 okay so now what will happen what is our rule here two of three officers or two of the three kids are present at the time output should be on okay so now let us consider suppose 0 and 1 keys are present that what will happen it will close these switches and what will happen output will get energized output means that is relay coil output 0 is relay coil will get energized and that relay coil will close this contact okay and output will on that is door will open and light will on so like this the condition gets satisfied similarly if you have two keys that is key number one and key number two it will close these two switches and supply will go like this relay coil will on and relay contact will get closed over here and output will be on okay and similarly th third condition also will get satisfied if 0 and 2 keys are present 0 number and 2 number keys present at the time this will get closed output will be given to this relay coil here relay contact will get closed and output will be on that is door and green green light will on okay so like this the ladder programming is done for such a example now next example a small house has three windows and two doors okay understand this there are three windows and two doors each window and door has a switch attached such that the contacts close when door or window opens so suppose if door and window is open there is contact related to that and it will contact will get open or sorry the contact will get closed when door or window is open so what we have to do we have to develop a ladder program such that turn on a light where output is light turn on a light 
इफ वन और मोर विंडोज आर ओपन वन और मोर विंडोज आर ओपन और इफ बोर्ड डोर्स आर ओपन ओके सो यू चेक दिस कंडीशन अगेन वट इज द कंडीशन हियर आउटपुट इज लाइट ओनली वन ओनली वन आउटपुट इज देयर दैट इज लाइट ओके सो वे हैव टू ऑन दैट लाइट वेन एनी विंडो इज ओपन मीन्स देर आर टोटल थ्री विंडोज आर देयर आउट ऑफ थ्री विंडोज एनी विंडो इज ओपन एट द टाइम लाइट शुड ऑन और बोथ द डोर्स आर ओपन नव यू कंसिडर दैट और चेक दैट बोथ द डोर शुड बी ओपन ओके विंडो यू कैन टेक एनी विंडो एनी वन विंडो बट डोर शुड बी बोथ ओके दिस इज द कंडीशन ओवर इयर नाउ लेट सी द प्रोग्रामिंग ओके सो हियर यू चेक आउटपुट साइड दिस इज आउटपुट मॉड्यूल ओके इन द आउटपुट मॉड्यूल वी आर यूजिंग नाउ टू रिले कॉइल्स सो आउटपुट जीरो इज नथिंग बट सी आर वन दैट इज रिले कॉइल नंबर वन आउटपुट वन इज रिले कॉइल नंबर टू एंड आउटपुट टू इज हियर लाइट ओके सो लाइक दिस वे यूज हियर आउटपुट्स एंड ऑन इनपुट साइड वी आर यूजिंग दिस इज इनपुट मॉड्यूल एक्चुअली सो ऑन इनपुट साइड आई एन जीरो इज विंडो नंबर वन आई एन वन इज विंडो नंबर टू आई एन टू इज विंडो नंबर थ्री लाइक दिस वी हैव यूज थ्री विंडोज नाउ इनपुट नंबर थ्री एंड इनपुट नंबर फोर दोज आर डोअर वन एंड डोअर टू ओके सो लाइक दिस वी हैव यूज इनपुट्स नाउ इन दिस केस वी नीड एनी विंडो ओके एनी वन विंडो आउट ऑफ द थ्री विंडोज ओके दैट्स वाई वील कनेक्ट ऑल द विंडोज इन पैरल सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड इयर आई एन जीरो आई एन वन एंड आई एन टू इन पैरल ओके एंड वी नीड बोथ द डोअर्स ओके वी नीड बोथ द डोअर्स दैट्स वाई वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस डोअर्स इन सीरीज इयर आई एन थ्री एंड आई एन फोर आर यूज इन सी एच सीरीज ओके बिकॉज वी नीड बोथ द डोअर्स बोथ मीन्स वट वी हैव टू यूज इयर कंडीशन ऑफ एंड गेट ओके एंड हियर इज कंडीशन इज एनी वन दैट्स वाई वी कैन यूज कंडीशन ऑफ ऑर गेट ओके सो लाइक दिस इनपुट्स आर टेकन and now output zero output zero is nothing but relay coil number 1 okay its contact is connected here okay which is normally open now here output 1 output 1 is nothing but relay, relay coil number 2 its contact is connected over here and our final output that is light light is connected over here so like this we have drawn the ladder diagram now we'll see working so suppose one window is closed suppose one window is closed that is first window window number 1 is closed what will happen this contact will get closed okay and current can go like this and output zero will get energized okay output zero will get energized that is this output zero will get closed and you will get output number 2 that is you will get light on okay so similarly suppose Window number two is closed, or window number three is closed. So, so respective switches will get closed, and output zero will get activated. And here, output zero will get activated, and you will get final output. Okay. Now, suppose doors. If both the doors are closed simultaneously, so both the switches will get closed. Okay, and you will get output one energized. That's why this output one will get closed, and you will get output number two. That is, light will get on. Okay. so this is the condition to be satisfied means what what is the condition here we have here taken or condition again okay if any light is closed sorry if any window is closed or if both the doors are closed this is or condition then green light should be on okay so like this condition is there and condition gets satisfied so this is the ladder diagram for this practical example okay so like this you can develop a ladder diagram for any practical application so thank you so much all of you for watching this video